Oh yeah, look at this. This is very cool. Today I'm riding in Moab, Utah, and I'm going to try out the raptor route here up uh, just off Porcupine Rim. And the raptor route includes the Eagle Eye, Hawks Glide, and Falcon Flow. So these are blue intermediate flow trails, so something different for Moab. So let's go Ripper. So we're starting off with Eagle Eye here. Yeah, there's not a lot of flow trails in Moab. There's segments of flow on uh, Navajo Rocks region and some of the other trails, but this is uh, pretty appealing for a lot of people. Oh yeah, it's got its own technical segments too. I mean, it is Moab. Oh, and a scenic spot here too. Another scenic spot here. Nice. Oh yeah, look at this coming up. Cool. Yeah, this is a very fun trail. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, they got three of these kind of trails. But at the bottom, unfortunately, you gotta ride back down this sand flats road that goes past uh, Slick Rock. I'm thinking this is a fabulous trail. I'm very impressed. But this is really what I like. It's uh, it's a legit intermediate, but it makes you keep on your toes. Oh, look at the canyon off to the right. Holy, nice. Nice!
technical climb here. Oh, look at that scenery. Holy. Beautiful. Sweet. Man, I'm loving this trail more and more all the time. Okay, look at that. So I'm at the end of Hawks Glide and our trail takes us down this ledgy switchback all the way down to the road down there. I'm just gonna take it slow, having never done this before. Slow and methodical. Yeah, this is a black section on a blue trail. Oh yeah, look at this, this is very cool. Sandy. Sandy is what makes that hard. Holy. Because you really have to trust your front brake, but the sand, who knows? Wow, that was great. That was a very rewarding sequence, but I think it would freak out intermediates. There, that was Hawk's Glide. There, that's what I just rode down. This zigzag down through there. There's a guy coming down there right now. So now I'm on the third Raptor, the Falcon Flow. I think this is the longest of the three. It's about five miles. Oh, there's a line on the right there. Nice. I did see that one.
flowy section here. Well, that raptor root was fabulous. I gotta think that might be just the best intermediate sequence of trails in Moab. It's right up there with my favorites in uh, Navajo Rocks and Alaska trails. So put that on your list if you're a in solid intermediate, because the trail is a little technical. I think you wanna be at least a solid intermediate and comfortable with some of those rocky rolls. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.